most people prefer using what they call a fairly used or second hand device like a mobile phone or a laptop so instead of getting a new one they get the fairly used and this is mainly because most people think um, the fairly used devices are quite strong and they have been tested why the new ones some people just prefer getting the fairly used devices some don't like the idea of getting new devices and why some the reason why some get fairly used devices are because of the when they're looking at their budget they know that new devices are quite might be quite expensive compared to fairly used okay so they rather go for the fairly used due to the budget and so but what do you do when you get a fairly used device so what are the right steps to take when you get a fairly used device so we'll be right back so welcome back so what do you do in case in the case where you get a fairly used device do you just go ahead and then start using it install what you want log into your your account your google account or whatever account and then start using the phone or the the your, or the laptop with you but that's not the first thing to do when you get a fairly used device the first thing to do is to perform a factory reset okay so the factory reset what it does is it clears everything that was installed by the former user if there was anything because the, the thing that happens the reason i'm saying this is that when you purchase a fairly used device you don't know who or where it has where it has been because now in this in this particular days everyone there are so many things going on so many things happening you get to see people using their systems or their laptops and all of a sudden their mobile their system camera is turned on or their phone camera is turned on and then they are being monitored private pictures are being taken and they are not aware of these pictures being taken because their camera their system camera is on their phone camera is on so and what could have caused is it was because either because there was something pre-installed like um what they call a payload or a backdoor installed on the phone by a malicious person either either the person selling it was it was is malicious and is trying to gather information which could use to, which you could use to bribe someone later in future okay so imagine someone getting a private picture of you perhaps you're in your room and you turned on your laptop and then you decided to change or something of that sort and then the person to, at that moment you, you are, your picture is taken the person can use that as a way to to hold you down or you can use it as cyber as what they call cyber bullying the person could disturb you that if you don't pay certain amount i will leak this particular photo or i will share it amongst your con contacts stuff like that so what do you do in this case you need to be like i said you need to factory reset the laptop or phone before you use it to prevent things like that from happening there could be back doors there could be crafted payloads there could be bots there could be key loggers so many things that could be on the system either installed by the person selling it to you or by the former user that actually sold it and then you are you are, you are buying it again so you need to be careful the main the first and the most important thing to do is to put it to factory reset reset it reset the whole just I will I will put a link in the description below how to go about a factory reset of, of of the laptop or factory reset of the phone or you can even just search it on YouTube how to factory reset an Android or an iPhone or a, your 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 laptop depending on the brand okay so you will see how to factory reset it make sure your factory reset it it is important once you get a fairly useful even if it's from your friend your friend might say okay please um. For example, I tell, I, I tell my friend, hey Josh, please, um, I would like to, what of that phone that I wanted to sell, I'm ready to buy it, have, I have this amount of money, are you willing to sell? And the person says yes, and then the person gives you, person, perhaps the person just uninstalled the app that he installed by himself, and you look at the phone thinking, it's, it's okay, it's clear, that I can now put what I want to put, I can put my Gmail account and log in and then do, do put, start installing my apps and then start using it. That should not be the first step because you don't know what you don't know what the person had in mind. You don't know if the phone is corrupted or you don't even know if the phone has backdoors or keyloggers or all those things installed on it. Even the laptop, not just phones or not just the mobile devices, laptops to any form of device that you can use to access the internet. So make sure you perform a factory reset to to make to make sure that it is safe. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because I, I just noticed I had to share this particular video. I had to this was not what I planned on posting at all. It was not on the on the calendar of what I was supposed to post but I I after some investigation with some um, some professionals in cybersecurity we got to investigate the case 
of someone who was cyber bullied and the way the the, the or the way the person they got the person's pictures and then the, the way they threaten the reason they were able to threaten the person after getting his pictures was not even because the person clicked on links and so on so even if you're even if just imagine you didn't you don't click on links strange links you follow the best practices he he because he is aware he he watches this video all the, the videos i post not that he is not aware of all these things but he watches the videos and then some other videos he's you he can say he's or uh, is security con is cyber security conscious at least to an average level so he does not but then after 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 proper investigation we looked at it and then we asked him how he got this particular laptop and then he he, he got to tell us that he got it from a friend and then we asked him, okay, how long was this? And after invest, after proper investigation, we, we that was when we noticed that he had payloads installed on the system that he, that was sold to him as a fairly used system. So there was a backdoor installed in it, and this backdoor was later used to gain control of the system. And we were because and that was that was on that thing about about installing antivirus. Okay, so. An antivirus is important once you that's like the second thing you should do after the whole factory reset once the factory reset, the first thing you should do is before you even start putting your google account or any of those things make sure you have a strong antivirus installed on your system okay it is very important to get that now that, that will help you detect any any virus from the internet or just from your on your system so make sure you download it online download the antivirus online it will be it, it it is very good in detecting even if it's the free version at least the free version does it does well at times though the paid version is always better but the free one does to and does well to um an above average level okay so make sure you install an antivirus that should be the second thing you do after you purchase a fairly used device so most importantly let's put it as the third point after you've installed the antivirus make sure you update your the laptop the computer or the mobile device to the latest to the latest like make sure it's it is updated because the only way the payload because we, we after proper investigation we noticed that the only way the payload could have could have been active was when it connected to the internet and the the payload was actually exploiting a particular vulnerability in the system an old um an old application that was in the system okay so the first thing you should do once and the person because the person didn't wipe the system so if you had wiped the system it could have gotten a payload or the back door out of the system at least to an extent but make sure you update the system if you if the system was updated then the payload won't be won't won't be effective again the back door won't have been effective again but the person didn't up upgrade the system so it is very important take notes update the system or the laptop the mobile phone the mobile device update all the applications there look for look for a secure wi-fi connection or your mobile data and update the phone make sure it's updated because once it's updated it all known vulnerabilities are, are patched okay so it's very important so i hope with these important things you you will know the right steps to take when you get a fairly used device so i'm not saying you should not get a fairly used device I at I at some point got a fairly used device. I'm even using one now, but I made I made sure I used um a, a, the best security practice so that I remain safe even while using a fairly used device. So I had to share this because it was really important. I know most people don't know about it, so it's been nice to also share this video. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that you get updates from us when we upload. All you need to do is click on the bell and then click on all. Okay, so you, anytime you upload, you just get it. You get notification directly to your phone or your, your device, whatever device you are using. Okay, so also share this video. So many people don't know about it and yet so many people still get fairly used devices. So it is important they know about this so that they are not exploited with the rate of uh, and the increase in cyber crimes. Um, it, this 20, 2020 is really going to be hot. So those those that are now aware, even companies, not just uh, not just individuals, companies are going to be the ones hit the most because there are so many other cyber crimes and that that are going to be perpetrated or they are already on now. So, but as an individual, you need to protect yourself so that you don't end up losing your image or losing important data or even losing your money. Okay, so it's important to do all these things. Thank you. And you may subscribe. Don't forget we upload on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. We'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.
hey click on the subscribe button now click on the subscribe button now and you can enjoy these videos enjoy these videos they are really nice you get to learn more you get to enjoy trust me you enjoy them especially the, the one at the one at the top just click on it enjoy this video now we'll see you next time do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel the earthquake?